machine count, higher work turnout. And I just wanted to at least put it on the table. challenges with that because there's places because of school vacation in February and March and April where they get off track with one another. Actually, February and March, the council and the board meet on different weeks. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it was, um, I don't want to call you out, Chris, but I think you had expressed some concern about yeah, traveling. <laughs> so I think, I think what the solution that you made was correct in that I you have the joint the meetings and the town council. Town council. Yes, yes mm -hmm. because Chris is my friend. I shine at the first part of your question about it sounds like this could be pretty final, barring the conversation mm -hmm. we're going to have later on tonight about if we change some of the meetings and stuff. So probably come out of tonight would be in pretty good shape. And I think um, one of the ideas we had talked about was coming up with topics for specific things we would um, discuss at our joint meetings once we, because we felt like we spent a lot of time on communication mm -hmm. in our, in our mm -hmm. joint meetings. And so we decided the communications committees here to help sort of take some of that load from the joint finance committees to handle more of the communication so we can sort of dive into specific topics um, as they come up. Well, and I think if we are able to execute the listening sessions and the neighborhood outreach, outreach in the way that we wanted to, that'll be, those will be important conversations for us to be having, although the neighborhood outreach might happen, you know, well into late April, May, okay. depending how those end up getting the schedule. Mm -hmm. So anything else in the calendar? It sounds like we're, everybody nodding, we're all good for the most part. The only thing I would note, sorry, is April 11th is not highlighted, but it is mm -hmm. mentioned down at the bottom. Right. So, oh, yeah. so that's a town council sort of, that's a town yeah. council yeah. meeting. Right. That needs to be yellow. I'll fix that one. Okay. Um, should I ask about February? Because at this point I've put one joint meeting on February, um, it being a short month with the school break in it. Um, but we can add one on the 13th or the 27th or 20th depending on whether we want to put something on the calendar. That was a place where I just sort of gave up well, to figuring it out. <laughs> my, feel, my feeling is that we've added an extra one in January that we didn't have this past year. Um, and I'm not sure that we had two in February last, this past year. We didn't have one in December either, so you're... Yeah. Right, so I feel like, so we're I okay feel like we've one. got it covered. Okay. We had one in December too. And just to clarify on that April 4th meeting with the joint presentation, town and school budget, um, will you both, will you be doing like a, just a kind of an introduction because the school board itself won't hear the details of the budget till the next day from the leadership? We'll have well, a workshop the next day. We'll kind of be out there already when the school board hasn't had an opportunity to even hear the details yet. So if it was like an overview, which I think is what you did the past time. Yeah, it's yeah. not terribly in depth. It's, a, it's not going to be in depth we'll because hand out the budget we haven't documents. had a chance to react to the principals or anything. Or well, and if you remember, in FY17, you had um, joint the, the budget presentation, then first reading, then you had the workshop with the leadership council on the Friday. So last year we changed it so that it was joint presentation on Wednesday, workshop with the principals during the day, and then first reading that evening. Mm -hmm. So the okay. board would have a, a little more so you get, like, information before they hit their first reading as well. Right. right. Yeah, so the way it will work, actually the Board of Education will take 
action first reading before the council will, which I don't think right. is problematic. In fact, I think yeah. it's probably preferable. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we'll let, undoubtedly loop back to this um, based on some decisions later on your agenda. So with that, can I just add one yeah. point to that? Donna, maybe we should have um, a school board finance meeting prior to the joint presentation on the fourth. <coughs> school board finance meeting, and maybe that would help. So I think that moving into new business really gets to sort of the heart of the conversation, which is, which is I think Tom and Julie had some thoughts around community engagement, what that might look like. Uh, I don't know if you yeah, uh, there was, uh, we were tasked out at the last meeting of this uh, to do a couple of things. One, there was conversation around can we or should we do something different around that budget form? Mm -hmm. And secondly, there seemed to be a lot of energy among the elected officials to do these, uh, what you were calling them as uh, Traveling Roadshow, and we rebranded that to the neighborhood uh, budget neighborhood outreach. But you can go back to that if you like. So um, what we what we provided here really is the first couple of pages are essentially meeting notes. We staff was kicking around the ideas, so you can see kind of the conversation. But I direct your attention to page three, and there's two basic recommendations that we put in front of you for conversation anyway. One is a strategy pre-budget, which is before Julie and I present. And the second there, and the other one would be this, uh, after the budget's presented, uh, really proposed to take the place of this budget forum. So the first one we're calling Listen to Learn. It would be an opportunity. Uh, we're prepared to drive this from the staff, but we'll, we would welcome anyone to participate as well. Our intent would be to hold four sessions, uh, essentially in January, what are looking at? No, all, January. all January dates. January. At different locations around town, different times of day to make sure we cater to as many folks as we can. Mm -hmm. And really, as the name suggests, it, it'd be uh, an opportunity to sit and listen and, to, and for us to get some input before we're making our formal uh, proposed budget to the community. Mm -hmm. And I think it's essential that we get that input early, and that's why we're proposing to really uh, push hard through the month of January. Uh, we would look to have some consistent protocols just for consistency across the meetings. And we would really kind of uh, have a scribe there so we're collecting the information, making sure we're recording it and can consider it when we come back to our offices. That's something we can certainly share with this group and with the community in terms of what inputs we've received. So that's the first piece. Um, and then I'll just introduce the second piece and then we can open up for discussion. <coughs> you want to talk about the second piece? Or no, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so the Traveling Roadshow or Budget Neighborhood Outreach this is intended to be after the budget, so it would occur uh, April, April, yeah, April, April into the <coughs> first part of May, yeah. roughly speaking, and I think Jody and Peter were tasked with and did uh, propose seven different locations around town. We didn't pick dates, but uh, in terms of the geographic uh, representation. And I think the, uh, the intention there was that to be really driven by a member of the school board mm -hmm. and town council, and what we would anticipate, and we can modify it if you don't like, but to prepare you with a presentation, maybe a five-minute introduction that would be consistent. You'd start everyone with that, just to kind of set a baseline. Uh, and then with some consistent protocols in place, uh, really be recording questions that come up. And I don't think the intention is to answer everything on the spot. You may be able to. Uh, but uh, even if you are, I think it's important to record those questions, and that's something that we could um, report back out to the community, and that would be kind of a running list of questions and answers, if you will. So the intent with that is really to meet folks where they are. So rather than creating the very formal panel budget forum sort of setting, it's more relaxed so that folks can have more voice. And we thought about the location. It's on the back page. Can I, I, I suggest adding North Scarborough? There's not anything in West Scarborough, but the, um, the majority of your no votes on school budgets are coming from my side of town. So. Well, and this is one of the things that we talked about um, at our last meeting is 
this is a budget discussion. This isn't a school budget discussion. It's a budget discussion. Um, so I agree that we can venture out. Um, but but regardless, way. I mean, it's a school budget that's up for the vote. So I just think that you need to be further out. That's just the only thing that I added. And I sent I an email, I think, to town councilors to this. Okay. So yeah. the listening sessions are going to come in January. And, and 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 then the great road show, you've got the long list for. Where are the listening sessions? Yeah, okay, the, the locations had. that we've proposed would be the whole one here. Okay. Uh, so one at one in Chambers, one at uh, the Learning Commons at Wentworth School. Uh, actually, another couple here, but at various times of the day and evening. Uh, somewhere in the dense area, probably at the firehouse, public library. So we're looking to stay kind of on in municipal facilities, but to really vary the time of day to make sure we're being available to folks when, when they can meet with us. And we've gone so far as to lock it down some dates. Uh, to, um, that's the next step uh, for the traveling roadshow. If you want to have those locations, we need to be looking at dates. You know, and for the Sorry, Jimmy. Just in, in for, for the communication committee members that are joining us, we we did talk about the budget form. The reason we're kind of proposing maybe a change is that the last couple of years, the number of people that actually have attended the budget forums have been declining, and there isn't a whole lot of sort of back and forth. So we really are trying to to decide is there a better way that we can get some input. And I think the way this is designed is the pre-budget is really for folks to kind of float issues that might be out there so we can at least think about them as we develop and work on the budget. And then once the budget is out there, I'm sure there'll be questions on is there a way that we can go to sort of mm -hmm. to them and have them and really listen to what they have to say and try to respond. I think we just try to, we, we actually, the you know, the public safety building did a whole bunch of these listening sessions and we really thought they would have some magic success formulas about where it really worked. Mm -hmm. And they, okay. they really, they said it was really, you know, it was really kind of tough to get people out. They didn't mm -hmm. have people any real, so Jody took a great shot at coming up with some and then we, these are just sort of placeholders for, it was just kind of, we were assigned with coming up with some ideas for anybody else and that's why we invited the communication committee to the table to say, Hopefully, you guys have some ideas too about mm -hmm. how we might be able to do this. Um, can I ask? I, and pardon me, I'm the new kid at the table, so mm -hmm. I have a few questions. When I saw this, when I first saw it, I went, "What?" <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so, and I talked to Tom about this this morning <coughs> briefly, um, and, and start. And these are just a few of my thoughts to just put aside whatever. I mean, what's the ultimate goal of all of this? Number one, that's the first thing you got to think about. Um, and what's this, there's got to be a secondary goal to it too. To me, the ultimate goal is to get the school budget passed with the least amount of angst. Uh, with the secondary goal of educating the population about well, what is a budget and what are the services provided. And I saw something that Larissa brought up in one of your meetings that she thought it was really important to educate people on what is it that they get for their taxes. And I, and I apologize if it wasn't you, but I think it was you who was quoted in that, which I think would be real good too. Uh, to me, um, another question that came up, well, what's the purpose of your listening groups? Because, okay, so great. So you go out and you listen. Um, I know you're going to hear that I don't want to pay taxes. I heard that for the whole time I was campaigning, for, including from friendly, so-called friendly people. They're really tired of the tax increases, um, and they want us to, to hold the budget down. So I know you're going to hear that. Mm -hmm. So if you get people coming in and that's their only message, so how are you going to react to that? The other thing is if people are bringing things up, you got to be really careful about not promising or making it look like you're promising to do something that you're never going to deliver on. Again, and that's just my, you know, opinion uh, on that. Um, so, are we doing this to make us feel better? 
or are we doing it because we're really trying to persuade a certain part of the population? Because let's face it, when it comes time to vote on a budget, you're talking about a small percentage of uh, the 4,000 people who show up to vote on school budgets. So those are the people that you're trying to persuade. Mm -hmm. So are you doing a scattershot? Or are you going to be more targeted in, in your approach? Um, so again, you know, uh, my rule for myself or for anyone else is if you're going to complain, you better come up with some ideas. Um, and so my thoughts are, I mean, okay, you know, Listening is fine. When I first saw the list, I saw eight listening sessions, and I went, what? So, you know, four seems could be reasonable. Um, as far as doing the road show, okay, maybe. Um, I, I'd like to see that worked out a little more. Um, you can use social media. You can do targeting through social media. Do you have a budget? for the budget, <laughs> in other words, for, you know, what you, your PR, so to speak, or your uh, campaign for what you're trying to do or get across to people. Um, and then, of course, me, I'm, I'm real big on door-to-door -door canvassing, um, you know, that you go to where people live, so to speak, and, and chat with them. Um, but again, that's, so those are just the broader questions that came up for me. To be honest with you, are we trying to do too much? Are we not focusing enough? Are we? What's your bigger goal? Because that wasn't clear to me in reading any of this. Is what? What's the goal for everything you guys are trying to do here? I think what you said, the two things that you said are the goals, and and coming in as somebody who hasn't really been a part of it from this end before, what we're doing or what we have done isn't working. Right. And this is something that I've been advocating for a long time. Like, talk to people. It's standing up there and talking at you and right. you and you can't have a dialogue is very frustrating for both sides. Mm -hmm. So I think that this is really important. I think it be, for us to be out into the community shows that we're willing to, you know, work with people and talk to people and listen to their concerns. And I mean, I hope we all are, but it just it makes us more accessible. And I think that we should try it. And I mean, nothing's set in stone. If it's a complete failure, then don't do it again next year. But what we have been doing doesn't work. And, and please don't think I'm not saying you shouldn't do any of this. I I do believe we need to go out, but I think try to make it as I think the impetus was when we started talking as, I think, a full council and a full board on what do we do differently. We have to do something differently. It's not working. And it's not working the way it is. And we do a lot of um, listening to people who stand up at the podium. And we all agreed at, I think, the last meeting, or maybe it's been a couple of meetings now, that one, it's three minutes of time and it's intimidating to have to get up there and you don't know, like, am I allowed to ask questions of the general public? Am I not allowed? How does this whole thing work? And there's a lot of confusion with that. Mm -hmm. And so let's just break down that barrier for someone who's sitting in the audience that doesn't want to get up and speak in front of everybody else or doesn't feel comfortable. Let's eliminate that barrier and, and listen. And if we know the answer or can answer it fairly simply, do that, but if we can't, understand that we will get back to you. We, we hear what you're saying, and let me take it back to the joint finance, and let's talk about it and work through it. I think one of the things we we were very clear on the last time, the last meeting, was that just because we're listening at right before this FY19 budget doesn't mean that everything that people are saying to us is something that is getting into the FY19 budget, but it helps create the plan and look long term and say, okay, well, does that idea somehow play into something we're looking to do in the next three to five years? Or explain to someone, okay, so when we invest in X here in FY19, it's because in FY21 we need to have preschool at all the schools or mm -hmm. like to help explain 
sometimes the investment mm -hmm. two years prior doesn't necessarily mean that's what we're that's why we're doing it for something larger or just it's just a chance to talk and and hear from the citizens on and things that are important to them and I think Larissa's um, in those notes I, I agreed with Larissa when she said it's important to find out what our our town values right. in right. Um, services because it, it's getting to that point where at what point you know what services does everyone like because right. there may be some choices that we right. have to make right I mean I, I think I think for us as we talked about it when I mean the, the 30,000 mile view goal is we all recognize this that the budgets go into two to three to four cycles right. to get approval is, is just tearing the town apart it's, right. not, it's not healthy for any of us our goal would be is there a way and I think what we have been doing has I mean I think we've with seven out of 11 votes have been no. So whatever we're doing, we've made a lot of progress. We think we've made a lot of progress by us working together, mm -hmm. listening to each other, kind of, you know, listening to both sides and saying it's one budget, one town. Mm -hmm. Although, and then we've done some, the, the prior communication mm -hmm. committee certainly has done some listening sessions. And we talk that language. I'm not sure the rest of the town talks that language. Right. So, so part of our thought was, and there, were, there was a, a group that really asked, they want more input into the budget process. They're not really clear about what that is. So our thought process was our overarching goal, if we do the listening session up front, maybe we hear something that we're able to address, or at least we know where the hotspots are. And then two, once the budget has landed, we know where we are. I suspect, and I think it, it does get to it, what Jody talked about, Marissa talked about, we, we've talked about it for a couple of years. I know Chris, we've talked about it. We may have some really tough choices this year. Oh, absolutely. What do we do more of? What do we do less of? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really healthy for us to have that conversation. The third thing we thought was important is by pairing a town council member with a board of education member, mm -hmm. does that help sort of signal to our community that we're on the same page? So I think there's right. lots of reasons, I mean, strategies right. on why that works. We're open to anything else. Right. But the time's kind of ticking, so well, that was sort of our panic. And we right. also felt that the budget forum wasn't um, productive. No, it it took agree. a ton of time, a ton of energy from staff, so um, and it didn't talk to the budget per se. We still good. couldn't have a discussion with anyone. Yeah. Right. 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 Katie. Um, so for me, it's those three things. It's one, we all want to pass the budget first time around so that the calendar isn't a problem. Uh, number two, it is about education. And people don't know. I, I remember when I was working for a nonprofit, the most powerful thing our CEO did was send us a list of our benefits because it was 100% employee paid benefits and nobody knew what they were right. getting. And all of a sudden, you, when you saw it outlined, kind of like your idea around town services, it was like, right. wow, this is huge huge value added. And then for me, it's about healing the community. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen in one cycle. It's going to take a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And I think we heal the community by being face to face. Mm -hmm. um, I think all those other mediums are great. We can definitely use social media, but social media can do as much harm as it does good sometimes. And mm -hmm. so I, I, I love these ideas. It's going to be time consuming, but I think it's a much it's worth the shot. <laughs> but, and when I mean social media, I'm not necessarily yeah, talking about bad flows. I'm talking about targeted ads, so to speak, messaging, mm -hmm. you know, that you can do. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think sort of do more and do it all. <laughs> you know? the, the conversation was that um, we kind of spread the burden and the, and the workload. If you know. mm -hmm. So I don't expect mm -hmm. it's not going to be Judy and Peter going to every one of these. Right. Mm -hmm. I think they would be looking, and that's why the communications mm -hmm. group is here, to have pairings of school board and town council members attending these. Well, not the listening sessions, right? No, I mean, staff's prepared to advance that. Right. I think we will be doing that anyway. If, if you want to be part of that process, right. terrific. Mm -hmm. um, because because I, when I read these documents, it's talking about the counselors and the school board doing the neighborhood outreach piece mm -hmm. and and then staff doing listening. Yeah, At least that in your initial iteration here. Because that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the new piece. The pre-budget piece is kind of new. You hadn't kicked it around here. So I just put it up before you and say that we're willing to take that piece on. But that's not to say mm -hmm. we don't want you part of it. Right. Uh, if you want to. 
and, and, and Jody, when she was speaking, it was interesting. I was hearing, and maybe I was hearing wrong, but but um, clarify it <laughs> One of one of the things with listening also is to ask your the people you're inviting to come before you to bring a solution. In other words, it would be kind of interesting to hear what people think. Okay, so you know you don't think we should do this and that. What should we do? Mm -hmm. uh, rather than just get up and say no, 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 no to everything, come up and say, well, I'm not happy with this, but if have you thought about that and encourage that sort of <coughs> feedback or dialogue in your listening sessions, I think it would be a little more productive. Yeah, I think I think the difference you'll see in these might it would be a success. I would. I would be uh, on the listening session, the pre-budget. I don't expect we're going to have specifics. I want this in or that out of the budget. Right. Um, no. It's going to be, are we? Are things emerging? Are there, mm -hmm. is there a value you can pull away? You know, what, what are people valuing? So that would be the takeaway pre-budget. Once the people have a document, then you might get some very specific things. I don't like that, or right. I think we should do this. Uh, I think the conversation might change. But I'm just saying to encourage people to sure. talk about what they like, what they, you know, in other words, again, to get those values, those services they value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I think it's a, it's a resource for us. I mean, we're 14 people plus staff. We don't have all of the answers or all of the ideas. So I think talking to people out there who maybe have done this in their previous life or currently are doing it, they there may be people out there with solutions that we haven't thought of. And I think either they're not coming to our meetings or they don't feel comfortable standing up. Like if we can just give more opportunity for people to say what's on their mind and maybe it's a solution that we haven't thought of. Right. right. It's opportunity to break down the barriers. Right. I mean, the intent of that budget form was we're going to have every question answered that night. So to do that, we had to have I know, at least 10 okay. people, right? Mm -hmm. I think the difference was, as Hillary spoke to earlier, is that that was not satisfying. Oh, yeah, that question might have been answered, but there might have been a follow-up that was really far more important or, or something. So it's really getting it more conversational <coughs> than Yeah, I would rather ahead. I would rather have somebody say to me, that's a great <coughs> question, and I'm not sure, I'm going to go find the answer for you and right. email you tomorrow. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Then to have that frustrating response and I have 20 more questions I want to ask as a result of the response and I can't. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tom, on the uh, four listen and learns, um, one session that might be useful is to dedicate, um, whether it's part of the four or maybe an additional one, dedicate um, and invite um, the members of the town's committees um, since we rely on them heavily regarding program value. <coughs> Um, it's almost like a second budget, uh, sorry, second uh, all board summit, but strictly dedicated to the, because that way we can get their input. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. More and more, mm -hmm. we're trying to have staff at each of those the yes. major committees, so hopefully there's a pipeline back for staff, mm -hmm. but your point's well taken. I mean, with the invite, I think there's like 100 citizens. Some of them serve on multiple committees, but there's at least 75 to 100, and if you, I mean, 50 of them is an incredible resource to get into a room when you talk yeah. about the municipal budget. Yeah, that's an interesting that's problem. That's a really good yeah. so yeah. how, how do you just manage that so right. it's productive yeah. for all those participants? I know. Yeah. But uh, those are good problems to have. Mm -hmm. You'll figure them out. Yeah. Um, one of the thoughts that I've had is whether or not, and I don't, if you do it with the listening sessions, it might be more applicable sure. where you're targeting people more on the uh, neighborhood outreach, which makes sense to me, but um, you've got all these here around town when I, I often wonder about trying to, if you're going out and you want people to come in, making it closer to their homes, so that if you looked at something like either the room that's at the Lions Club out there, no, there that's here, what I suggested. or yeah. the, um, isn't there a rod and gun? Well, there's got a pushing game and I have connections there. <laughs> you got uh, and just, to be, yeah. just to speak to that, um, no. we want to push this out and complete it really much, pretty much in the month of January. So yeah. we looked internally because we could guarantee space. Uh, you can well taken. If we can find space elsewhere and switch mm -hmm. one of these, I think that's I might, absolutely I would consider switching some of them to this, 
the primary school since they're so neighborhood based. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Doesn't Martin's Point have a standing lunch or something? Yeah. yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday. So they don't appreciate. Uh, like they're all, they're happy to listen for a small portion of time, but yeah, yeah. 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 I want to eat. I want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat. And, and uh, so they were polite, yeah. but it was really clear that five minutes was the maximum. No, four minutes. Can they eat first and then? <laughs> I tried both ways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a social. Time. Yeah, but that's a good point. We may augment this with direct outreach to kind of already oh. affiliated groups, uh, whether it's the senior. Uh, lunch or Hillcrest has a community center and, and does lunch and that might be another strategy we can layer on top. Mm -hmm. And or maybe it's just a, a specific invite to the director of the senior um, group to say, hey, we're going to be at the public library on, well, the 23rd at 6 o'clock is inappropriate, but like a 1 o'clock on January 16th, we'd love to have your group join us. And we could see, speaking of social media, certainly we would use all of our channels, communication channels, to publicize oh, yeah. these events. Mm -hmm. so and so you have, you have eight, is it eight or nine no. on here, or eight here. Eight. These eight. are just, eight. you're going to narrow eight. them down. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're looking yeah. at the yeah. yeah. You know what, one thing that was, if you could maybe get to uh, get, get yeah. to get to get to get to get to get to get it would be great if we just had some type of okay, feedback sure. after we ran the yep, uh, scan that would that. be great just to get a, yep. a pulse of did it work, did it not work, so we can make next year when we sit here we can make oh, that, right. that mm -hmm. we can reevaluate. So Tom, but it sounds like we're sort of generally on board. You said you've built in the dates for or tentative dates for the pre-budget, mm -hmm. but you're looking for dates now for the or, or yeah, the yeah. It, because it's later in the process, we have some time to, to, to shake it down. And I appreciate your work identifying okay. locations. Now we can reach out to them and find. Okay, and so when you say now we can reach out, who can reach out? Remember that was one of our next things we were sure. going to work on. Oh, our, I know we were going to do our task. Um, who? would lead that charge in reaching well, out or deciding? Let's start. Are these going to be evening sessions? Are they going to be uh, standard times? Which ones you're talking about? The, the traveling the road. 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 The neighborhood the budget outreach. Room. The neighborhood budget outreach. Yeah. Um, I, I'm feeling like it's going to have to be evening yeah. based on... Well, but it, we could also yeah. cater it to where we're going. I mean, if we're going mm -hmm. to Piper Shores, it could easily be 1 o'clock. Well, it can't be the well, Everybody it could be 1 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so most people at Piper Shores are retired. Especially in the town council and school board right. do they have freedom? Right. 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 So what was the document so I was But my point is that you might want to think about the times based on the location, right? So if you're doing it at Wentworth, it's probably going to be in the evening because most parents aren't going to be available until then. Um, and we can provide child care at the Wentworth location safely, so that that will be able to attract parents that have child care issues, oh making sure that they're being accommodated. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Or thinking about doing it right at drop-off time might also be something that's helpful to families. Mm -hmm. Would it be helpful for staff to give some thought to varying some throwing in a couple of off time, daytime meetings? And well, well, so I was just asking, what was the um, document I was looking at, it has suggested times and locations, and it says somebody is available. It's Julie. Oh. It's an internal document. They're <laughs> Julie, Tom, and I. Oh. So, um, it's all right. It's it's with the jacket. I think I just thought as an example of places that we could go. So okay. Julie had chimed in. Um, so I think That's that for the right. pairing up the town counselors <laughs> and school boards, if, right. if we were given permission, staff could create a form. Yeah with dates and time suggestions, you guys could log where you were able and available, okay. and then we could pair you up and say, great, Katie Foley and Hillary Durgan, you are a team, and you are going to be at Piper Shores at 1 o'clock on April whatever. Right. And if that was, a, if that was comfortable. Check. Yeah. Check. Yeah. more to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to yeah. 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 Something that we can all add in when we're available. Yeah. Yeah. Doodle. 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 Doodle.
I will work if I have permission from Tom. I will on creating that. I'm writing that you're next to that. When Joey writes it down, yeah, you know, it's in ink. It's on the two. Okay. Everybody okay? Moving on? So, on the January one, listen to learn, there's eight suggestions and we're talking about doing four of those. Is that something that we're um, nailing down and putting on the calendar or is that something I should get from you guys later on? Maybe the important thing is here is are there four locations that you really prefer? And then work from there? I think the public library just so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't feel if any of these are fine to me. Oh, that's yeah. I would say council chambers. Yeah. Is that North Scarborough? Yep. Sure. Oh, yes. Is there any space or do you have to do it in the bay, one of the bays? Well, the, the fire, as you know, the fire stations, those second floor meeting rooms aren't uh, handicapped accessible particularly. Mm -hmm. right. So depending on what you want to do, uh, I know at Engine 5 at least, I haven't been in there a while since Jeff retired, but they can move the equipment out and you can do something at the back of the bays because it's not where they park the trucks per se, so it's not as messy. But but if you're not as concerned about, as long as you've got a couple locations that are ADA accessible, then that second floor on, uh, it's fine place for meetings. That's, I know it was Bolton and uh, okay. Solo had one of the okay. things there. And there were a few people from the neighborhood. So we'll do a couple here on the campus where there's chambers and, and the library, something in North Scarborough. Dunstan, Dunstan. Yeah, Five points. So just to speak to the fire stations, when I so the reason Dunstan is on your list is I spoke to the um, the scheduler for the fire stations and the captains that are kind of connected to that, and where it's winter and the parking is challenging if the equipment comes out of the bay, and um, they recommended Dunstan as the most convenient as far as meeting neighborhood meeting space in one of the fire stations. So right. I can ask them again and see if they could be more creative. Well, I, can, I can get it for you. No but I think what, what they're saying is if they have to move out the fire truck. No, they don't have to if you use that second floor space. There's, well, there's no more of anything. Then parking outside. There's plenty of parking. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll figure it out for us. We've got a sense of what you'd like. We'll do our best to. Yeah. Yeah. We've got stuff in the second floor of Pine Point. Yeah. Yeah, we, had, we had a bid session there. They've got all the accommodations. And they're all So I think, I think just let's let staff come back with some proposals. Yeah. We, we, can, we, we feel like we need to lock these dates down yeah. soon this week, next yeah. week at the latest, just so we can have the space to start to publicize the events. Mm -hmm. I mean, they start the second week of January. Yeah, yeah I don't know that do we feel that they need to come back to us to get an okay with where they're going? I feel like no, no. they're going out right. before places Well, like if you're aware and you're all welcome yeah. to come to right. one or all. Yeah. 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 Like. Great. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you. Next item, and I think, Chris, I think you're on deck for a couple of these. Update budget portal demo and reporting, citizen-centric reporting demo. Mm -hmm. Wow. We get to see the new. Wow, surround so pictures in sound. Capital budget is. You'll just push the. Oh, <coughs> sorry about that, everybody. Julie. 
Just click on yourself there. Click on your name. Oh, oh no. No. Nope. 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 Sorry, guys. Not sure what happened. So you'll click on a button, and it will not do this to you. Um, <coughs> and it will take you directly to that um, section of the budget portal. I think you need to check your check your yeah. 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 kit. No. I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> oh, no. I'll put something in cricket. Um, <laughs> thank goodness for these big screens. You can get your password. Okay. okay. So I don't know if I want to try pushing the button again. I'm not sure. You try it. Okay. We're, we're right. confident. Yeah. All right. We want to talk about capital. So okay. you come here. And then you would picture here there being another series of buttons that would be specific. So um, equipment or property or whatever sure. we decide to <coughs> on those places. So the idea is that within no more than three clicks from the web, the town's website, you could be at the information you were looking for. Um, and it would be obvious where you could go. <coughs> so instead of long lists of, of links that you could choose from, just big, large buttons. Um, that will direct you to where you want to end up, and including a calendar. Um, and so it will have this will just be all about the budget, very similar to the calendars you guys are looking, so that people can navigate easily. And we've already spoken, um, Sean and I, on that calendar. When you click, it will immediately link you to the agenda for that meeting, as soon as the agenda is ready, um, instead of having a separate page for agendas and minutes to be held. Oh, that's great. Okay, so and you can, can also navigate through those bigger buttons up at the top of the screen there. Oh, so yes, that'll be on each page, too. Well spotted. So, yes, if you are not a button person, if you are a person who is a Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's Does great. Anyone have any questions about that? So I'm assuming we'll give Sean our, this calendar and he'll input that. Input. It will be inputted. Yep. And, um, and then because it's a Google Calendar, anyone that wishes to can add it to their own Google Calendar. So you all will be able to simply add that calendar. And when you wanted to see what was happening in the budget cycle, you could choose to see that calendar in your display of your other calendars as well. And the public can do the same thing. That's great. Yeah, that, that might, I just got a text message from my husband who's watching and said, can't hear anything that you're saying at the I don't know podium. if the mic is on or not. I think yeah, it, I don't think it, it sounds like it is. Sounds like it is. Okay. That's part of the problem that we're having tonight. So I, I, I told them hello. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually work out there too. It's really fairly loud. So. Um, any other questions or thoughts? Yeah. Um, as part of the rollout, will you be inviting any end users to maybe uh, pop through it, test test run it, just to kind of uh, feel it out? We certainly can. Um, I think that bef this is not live yet. Right. It's simply in demo mode. So I think that what would probably be most comfortable would be once we have something that looks really good and we're, we're wanting it to go live soon, maybe sharing it out to the 14 of you that are on these two committees and having you play with it and see if you notice any snags. Um, instead of, I don't, I don't know if we want to let it go live so that the general public as end users can. Um, I was suggesting maybe inviting some end users that are not part of the school board of council to come in and be a test, you know, sure. a test group to just kind of go through it and see. What happens. I mean, we tend to be uh, more comfortable with um, several documents that we're given and, and you know, high print rather than using this portal. Very few of us will use this portal. Okay, sure. I think very few of us. It's going to be those that are sitting here. Okay, sure. Ben Howard might be a great. He, he's yes. a, has talked a lot about oh, yeah, making right. it, making right. technology, making it easy. Well, so Ben Howard right. might be just a great resource. To sure. What does it look like on the on the school web pages and the town web pages? Exactly. So it will like simply that. have a link that says budget portal, the way that it does now, and that drop that sidebar on the left. Um, and when you click that budget portal, this is where you will go directly. So can we do something that makes that more obvious? We absolutely can. So, so one of the challenges that we have is that the town, so Google, um, I think I'm understanding from Sean correctly, but if I say something incorrect, I apologize. <coughs> the Google platform is changing and new sites are coming on and the town's website will be completely overhauled within the next year. And so he is not interested in doing a whole lot of small changes to different parts of the okay. site that when there's a large overhaul coming quickly. Good, I think it needs it. Okay. Good. Thank you. Set on that. Yes. All right. Very good. Let's move to the CPRs.
So we talked about um, CCR as a citizen-centric reporting. Um, I will show you sure. briefly what I was playing with for the town. Um, I don't like it, so I, uh, <laughs> this is not what you're getting. Um, the, can everyone see that at all? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I met with um, Karen and Magda mm -hmm. la, um, on Monday, yesterday, and they have some software that I don't have. So that, at Sedco, sorry, Karen and Mag Karen Martin at, at Sedco, they have some software that I don't have access to because they have Apple products. Um, and so I, I think that. Karen had a really great suggestion of building the town's CCR because it's, com it's a combined town and school budget total um, in a platform that easily, um, that really is to build presentations and that I will then have blocks that I can place into this kind of CCR format. And what that will do for us is by creating that series of blocks within this presentation software that we then have, and I think this is the real benefit of it, we have your presentations ready to go for your budget presentation, as well as um, something we can pick and choose out of to equip the counselor school board members pairs as they go out into the public to be using. So it's, I think it's going to be really versatile to be able to use. So this is what, in theory, we could have as like a first page, but I don't like it. But I didn't want you to think I had abandoned you and not cared. Um, so that, that will be coming at you later. So this is the school. Um, it's a draft. It is not branded by color yet um, or anything else. And these are not our children, but we can imagine what they might look like if they were. I feel like I owe you a public <laughs> apology that I didn't get back to the pictures. It, I don't think we need to shame you. It's all good. It's all good. We all need to be live. Stuff. I was like, oh, no. So um, Julia and other school board members, uh, school board members and Julie and I will work together to um, figure out what data we want to represent, but at the moment this is just kind of an, an overview. So for those of you that weren't here, a CCR has a str uh, kind of a set format. The first page is who are we? You know, what do we do? Um, really, but what, who's our organization? And the second page is um, kind of success stories. What are we doing well? What do we have to show for what we do? You'll see a bunch of blank spaces here, <laughs> um, waiting to hear from everybody what they want to have there. The third page is where does our money come from and where does our money go? Um, talked about wanting to show creative funding partners as a kind of a special feature on the school yes. um, and then where our money goes. I've, and again, this is just draft. If you're seeing things that you <coughs> don't like, you're like, whoa, that is not what I want to have, um, go ahead and just let me know either tonight or in private and we can work things out. Um, what you're seeing there is a breakdown based on the per pupil expenditure. So um, for every, I can't remember the exact number for per pupil, it's like 13,000 something per pupil expenditure. These are the percentage breakdowns for that. So, um, and these are proportional. And then what I wanted to highlight here with the graph on the bottom left is we actually have the lowest um, percentage of our budget being spent in administration per pupil than anyone in our region and it's significantly lower than our cohort and very much lower than our state. So just kind of, kind of capturing that, but if that's not what the school board wants to capture in this, we're going to put in different charts to capture other things. And then the final page is supposed to be a forward look. What's coming up next? What challenges do we see? We had talked about, um, Jody and Carrie and Julie and I had talked about using the four, I can't remember the name for them. Strategic themes. Strategic themes. Um, so if in the school budget they are wanting to expand a position or add a position or, or, or focus on a curriculum development, they can align it to one of these four strategic themes and we can kind of plug it into that spot and explain to the public why it's important and how it connects to the greater mission. Love it. So are you going to do a municipal page too? There will be a whole separate booklet that's municipal, yeah. one town, like the, the town and school budget yeah. combined. Um, and that's what I showed you I didn't like and that we're going to, I'm going to build in a different software platform. But we wouldn't have a town only, municipal only. Our thought was to do one combined one and the school has interest in having their own. Yeah. I think there may right. be interest in mailing that out or doing other things with a school specific one. So we would want to do it for the town could. to show where our revenues are and I mean, sure. if we want to have that conversation about services. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I would, I would want it to be broken down more like how much we spend on police, how much we spend on fire. I mean, yeah. yeah I, mean, I guess we would consider doing it with third yeah. the town on the piece. By department. 
The people don't have, they don't have a clue. Yeah. It is really um, like if you think about it, that's the budget of the information mm -hmm. that I can. Well, I do feel that way. <laughs> and I think it's too burdensome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would definitely do it for the town. Okay. You can. We can certainly do that. If the, if the consensus is you'd like a standalone town, that's not my decision. Um, I'm happy to. And then, especially if I do build it in kind of a different platform with blocks, I can build some separate school blocks, and then when we want to have something that's combined, we can just mix and match to make mm -hmm. a combined one as well. Does that appeal to people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just great. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Um, Larissa, I have one quick question. Um, what pictures do you want from me? So I heard from the group that the, um, the small group that met that you wanted pictures of the students from our school. Um, so I have found attractive children online that I thought were the right ages for the school. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're totally adorable. But as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking it's not as obvious what we were trying to get across in that, and I don't know if this group can tell, but we were talking about the schools. So this is the primary school. This is Wentworth Middle School, High School. They're getting larger. The kids are supposedly getting older. <laughs> but I'm not sure that it, it sends that message. Originally, we had the pictures of our schools, and it's sort of like mm. it doesn't feel warm and fuzzy. They're just buildings. Um, I, I wonder if those sorts of design features, which I think are hugely important mm -hmm. in trying to convey a message, is that something the communications committee could yep. work on in terms of layout and charm? Sure. Why don't you have a kid standing in front of each of the signs for each school or something? Again, I think the goal My is to leverage the kindergarten the picture of Lila in front of the eight corners. I think the goal should be to leverage the value and the strength of your committee structure. And so if that, if, if that could be a piece that staff contributes to and maybe communications that doesn't take a little load off this larger group. Right. Are there any concerns with having pictures of the kids? We get permissions for that. We wouldn't use children's names. We don't have permission for it. I think we want to just try to help folks feel connected to our schools and remember that we say this often in the budget process, but it's more than just numbers. We're talking about shaping the future, you know, for our children and our community. So I think there's maybe other ways we can incorporate student photos. Maybe we talked about that really great photo across the top. Um, and then maybe more here. I'm not sure. But it is hard with people, like even here, whether there are people or not, it doesn't have as much meaning as like the clean button symbols that you saw in the budget portal. It's just sort of like that symbol has a meaning of like school or money. So could you send out, I guess, an email or could someone send out an email to the communication chairs, right? Is that, is that? where it should go to, I feel like, to talk about, I guess, for a municipal side, how you would like yours, what sort of information you guys would like to include in that and have that meeting. Well, we're meeting the first day. Whatever day it was. Uh, and then our <laughs> communication, <laughs> I mean, we're sort of a little, a few steps ahead, and we can send you an update on the buttons that we want. Would this be able to be weeks based on the listening sessions if we're hearing from people like I don't get sure you know where this is like could we tweak some of this to you, have to, yeah. you should probably speak up louder sorry nobody's ever said that to me <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to say it again yes or how easy it is, is it to tweak it if based on the listening sessions people say I'm not understanding this very well, or and you know we hear it a lot. Or I really wish that you guys would put out this information, and we hear that a lot. Like, can we tweak these yeah. pieces to be able to respond to that? I think that's one of our big aims with the listening sessions is to figure out what information do people want to know about, um, and how can we present it in the cleanest, most simplistic, accurate way. Do you have a script yeah. for the listen and learn? Like, what people? Kind of questions, so nope. people are getting the same information 
back? No, it's, we're listening to the people. So if they don't start talking, you might be out there. We need a couple of calls. What are you going to do with this? So what do you think of the budget? I think, I, I would think that they were coming to the listening yeah. sessions, they're coming prepared with something to talk about. Well, they might say, I'm going to listen mm -hmm. from what you're going to tell me about. Well, and that's how I'm going to learn. So you I just the DR around that. And yeah. Tell people what that's the right. How, yeah. What, the what it works. Because listen and learn could be go and listen and learn. Well, that's that's true. That's what it means in the corporate world. Although we, we did some, the communications committee last year for the town council did some listening sessions. Mm -hmm. And we really didn't have an agenda. It didn't take long for the time to be filled with, you know, we, we got plenty of information. A lot of people. A lot of, yeah, a lot of feedback. We'll have Please. some prompts if necessary. <laughs> but our goal really is to go in with no agenda and just hear from the community, connect with the community, try to build trust and credibility. Yeah, remember that input will be received in January. These documents probably don't need to be finalized until early April when the budget is right. being released. Right. In March or April. Mm -hmm. So there's some time. So I guess at yep. 7.15, kind of recap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next agenda item. So we have, um, for those of you that are new to our meeting, we always do take ways and to do's, and we're trying to get better at it this year, because we would have them last year, and then they would sort of disappear. So um, as one of our goals is to assign tasks and stay on topic. So um, I have, and if there are more, speak up, but I have Larissa has a lot going on after this meeting, Larissa. Um, Form for the neighborhood outreach so we can all sign up and decide what works for us and timing and all that. And everyone's on Google. If I make it in Google Forms, everyone's comfortable with that and will be able to access that? If you don't, you can come to my office. I can help. <laughs> Hard copy mail to Sean. <laughs> and then Larissa is also going to email the communications chairs um, just some general information on these. Uh, are these CCR? CCR? Okay. Perfect. And then I have Tom and Julie. Tom and Julie are going to finalize the listening session, dates and times, and then sort of report back to us just when they are. So in case we want to join you, we can. And I have um, I added that I'm going to send you pictures once we meet. Can I add a little bit of something to that? Yes, if it's possible. So. I will email out to the communication chairs, but if you as a counselor in any capacity have something that you think is important is reflected in this quick kind of four-page snapshot, if there's demographic info or if there's specific department info or a style of information that you want to have present, please send me an email about that because really it's up to you guys to decide what is on there for stats and, and numbers and, and things that we want people to understand. And I will also add to my list um, I will type up those to-dos and tasks and email it out like I did last time. If you want, Jody, you could put on there that I'll um, continue to work on the draft calendar, work with um, Tom and, and Julia and Larissa on setting the dates for the listening sessions and at least getting those on there so we can start to share this. Okay. Um, at least it'll be a good tool for us even if we don't feel like it's ready for the public. Yeah, the calendar's going to get really busy by adding four and seven. Oh, my God. Eleven more dates on this. I'm just wondering and if we... Up with a, well, something on the back for that. I'm just wondering if we might need to add a joint meeting in May because we will have all those neighborhood budget outreach meetings. And I'm going to be tricky to try to get seven into April. Might we want to connect in early May? I think that's a good idea, mm -hmm. joint in May. So add May 1st for the 15th, or so that way it gives you. All right. So add May 15th, a joint meeting. Joint. Just in case, get oh, so you say 15th? Yes. Do you have that cake? Got it. Any other takeaways that we missed? There was a thing about maybe having a like an evaluation after each listening session. I don't know if there's questions or something we can put like together and ask folks to complete or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 we, we can report out. Um, 
That's what we're hearing. Kind of broad themes. And that's great. Yeah. 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 Is that going to be like an email that you send afterwards or at the meeting? Sorry, I didn't uh, We can do both if you like, but there might be some value to report it out publicly for people okay. to, yeah. to hear mm -hmm. as well. Well, I was thinking more than <laughs> the citizen thing. Probably like the, the, right. the forum. Right. We can get like plus Celsius from that or something. Mm -hmm. Some sort of feedback. Mm -hmm. Like an exit ticket kind of a thing. Yeah. 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 How effective is um, Are we needing the January 2nd meeting? Is there tasks that we have to complete prior to that? or? Uh, we need to have our meeting dates in January done well in advance of that. I think. Right. I think those need to go out this week. So I'm just wondering but I'm not if you sure. would come back together for a Right, because that's, <coughs> that's two weeks, and I, I sort of feel like yeah, we're all out of here for the next yeah, yeah, week. Yeah. All right, so let's let's scratch the second. Take off January 2, and our next meeting will be January 16th, yep. not counting listening sessions. Right. Yep. Any other tasks or to do? Public input. Is there anyone that would like to speak from the public? Oops, you're okay. Um, two minutes. And um, so I think that the listening session, um, thinking about uh, it's going to be January, and um, what are people going to be wanting to know or talk about? I think one of the very first things is what is the next, next year's budget looking like? <coughs> I mean, at least. That's what I would want to know. Um, what kind of an in increase are we going to be looking at? So I hope that there will, with that expectation, that there will be some preliminary information. I mean, what are the knowns at this point? Um, and then, um, so I've looked at the norms, and the transparency um, is really important. I, this meeting was very difficult to find out about. Um, I'm not sure that there would have been other people here, but um, it, it just was, wasn't something that was really obvious that it was happening tonight. And um, I only found out about it because I happened to be at Town Hall and I saw the agenda on the counter out front. Um, and so as far as what what you've talked about tonight, I, I do have a couple of um, specific um, suggestions. I know one of the things that we always talk about is that in uh, normal council meetings, we have the three minutes at the, at the mic, and there's no chance to have questions answered. Why not have a, a different kind of town council meeting, have it on, I don't know, pick another night, but have three minutes at the podium, but then you'll be answered. Um, maybe a little bit of back and forth time limit, um, but at least we would have, a, have an opportunity to have a little discussion or a little back and forth. Um, why not have an online survey? I know that you, talk, you say that there are about 4,000 people who vote on the school budget. Those people are engaged for the most part. Most of them are online. So why not have um, at least an opportunity, um, whether it's an open, open-ended question, where where um, people could could ask questions online, and eventually um, get an get questions answered and have it posted. Um, and I I know that you're trying to use multiple ways to get input. I did go to a number of the public safety meetings. They were very sparsely attended, and I know um, that the fire department, I mean, people were concerned about how sparsely attended they, they were, so I think that's something that, you know, the effort is there. We, I, I don't know how you get people to be engaged until it's too late, and they, they become interested at the last minute, and, but they weren't part of the discussion all the way along. And that makes things really difficult. And I, I see that happening over and over again. And um, and it's not just a problem in Scarborough. Other towns um, face the same thing. 
I also think that the property tax relief program needs to be a part of the discussion. I think that how do you get support for the budget? If you know that you're going to be facing taxes going up year after year, then the, the property tax relief program that we have in place is a great program. Um, but let's look at that and use that to also sell. You know, you're getting a tax increase, but the property tax relief program is also increasing. And then the last thing is, please, I've asked this in other years. Some of us um, who are not on the council or boards or whatever would like to get a hard copy of the budget. And in the last few years, we've printed our own copies. We download it and get it done at Staples. And I, I've asked, I know that there, there are some reasons um, that you can't make it available to the general public, but maybe maybe there's a way. Maybe if we knew, if you knew in advance, if you have to pass an ordinance or do something so that it, it could be sold to the public. I'm not asking for it for free. I know there's a cost. But there are people who, who want a hard copy, and um, we'd really like it. So. Am I allowed to, I'm new to this. Am I allowed to say something? I just, no, I was just, in regards to your um, transparency about the meeting tonight, how would you suggest getting the word out better? I mean, because I know obviously it's online and stuff, but I don't, I'm, I'm interested. Well, uh, the e-newsletter, um, you know, I, I don't know if it was, if it was mentioned in, in the, because I do read that. Um, I do look at the regular agenda. I saw the special council meeting for tomorrow night, uh, or for tonight at 5.30. But I didn't see anything about this meeting. And then I went to the school website, because I don't normally come to the school to join <coughs> meetings, but when I saw what, it, what was on the agenda, I, it seemed like something that I would want to come to. So I looked on the school side. I couldn't find anything about it. I went to the, the board and committee for the board, just like I do to the council. It was on the town council, it was under the town council on the finance committee section, but I don't, you know. Well, I hope that when we are able to redo the website, that. So Can you not get the did it show up like this on your computer? Yeah. It's, uh, it did, but it, it's. It's right there. Um, We're there. You know, it, it, you don't get any of the detail. It, it does on the, you know, on the right-hand side. Oh, the linking, okay, so that is a, a, a fix that we will have when we are able to update. So okay. currently, the way, so you can see the, the meeting is coming. Right. There isn't a way within the Google platform that we have, I asked Sean about this, to link the agenda for that meeting to mm -hmm. the, the link that's there. So that is something that we're going to be able to address when we shift to the new, go, the new Google site, and that will be addressed with the new budget portal calendar, because we'll it's, it's in the new suite, we'll be able to have that feature. Um, and we also, every Monday morning at 8 a.m., I put a Facebook post out to the um, 2,800 people that follow us on Facebook listing that week's meeting. So that went out on Monday morning for this meeting as well. So it's another way that you can tell people that <coughs> can kind of check in on Facebook and oh, see when we're going to be having meetings like, too. So if you like the page, it would show it, up on your feed. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Any anybody else? Seeing none, um, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Coming for Christmas. Yeah. Ready or not? Ready or not? Mother Nature is making it. Yes. Merry Christmas. Yes. Yeah. 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 Did you read? No. no. I think I could find. No, because I have to read. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I know.